Let's have a look at another sound bank for Rhino. This one is the classic Oberheim bank. It includes four banks for a total of 256 presets. The sounds emulate the whole family of Oberheim synthesizers rather than focusing on a single model. Okay, so the first question all of you have without even hearing any of these patches, do they really sound like the classic Oberheim synths? Let's be completely honest here. They sound like an FM recreation of the Oberheim sound. So now that we have that out of the way, what do they sound like? One word. Fat. On to the demos. I made two for this patch bank. I wanted to make a third featuring some of the sound effects Rhino can produce. However, many of those patches caused my ASIO time to fail, so I had to skip that one. Both of these use minimal processing and rely on the effects of Rhino. Oh yeah, listen to this one. I grew up listening to the sounds of the Oberheim. Van Halen was one of my favorite groups as a kid, so naturally the first sounds I auditioned were similar to those from the 1984 album. I made my own humble song as a tribute. I used the 1984 and super classic patches to make this one. In case you haven't noticed, I kind of like Bach chorales. They're great for testing out sounds because they are short and display perfect part writing. Plus, they are in the public domain. I used the EP layer, City Strings, and Fat and Low 3 patches for this one. This patch bank has lots of really nice sounds. Leads, pads, basses, atmospheric, and a few sound effects make a complete library of sounds that you might expect from the Oberheim series. Also, the price is pretty good for how many patches you get. However, some of the presets use so much ASIO time that they are basically unusable. Using multiple instances of Rhino seems to make this worse. Also, you need to watch that res slider. The patches using it are quite often painful, clipping right away. Maybe this is the programmer's sixth sense of humor. In any case, I strongly recommend that you audition any Rhino sounds with the volume on the low side. Some of the patches using wave shaping have a pop or click when you release the key. This can be fixed by adjusting the wave shaping. That being said, these problems may be specific to my system. <laughs> 